Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra and in this video I am going to show you 12 best developer options for this phone. So let's start. First of all, I will show you how to enable developer options. So go to settings and then scroll all the way down and here you see this option of about phone. So select about phone and then from here you will see this option of software information. So select it. Once you go inside software information, here you see this option of build number. So you have to tap it seven times. So I will tap it seven times and then here it will ask you to draw your pattern. So here you can confirm your pattern. So here you will see it will say developer mode has been enabled. Now you have to go back and then go back again and then here you have to scroll down and you will see this new developer options feature. You can just select it and here you have all developer options available. The first setting is about force split screen mode. For example, I open Netflix app. Now I want to open this app in split screen. So I try to open it in split screen, but here it says can't use this app in multi window view. So how to enable multi window view for these apps? First of all, go to settings and then scroll down and select developer options. Once you go inside developer options, you have to scroll down and you will see apps category. So here you will see apps category. So once you see this apps category, you have to scroll down and here you see this option of force activities to be resizable. So you have to enable this option. Now you can go back and now this time I try to open Netflix app in split screen. So I will try to open it in split screen. Here you can see now the split screen is working for this app. You can open any other app at bottom. So for example, I open Galaxy Store. You can also resize these apps. You can also change the position of these apps. So here you can see Netflix is available here. So this is how you can enable force split screen mode. The next setting is about mock location app. So guys, for some gaming apps, it requires some specific location for some specific features. So for that, you can use apps like fake GPS and here you can change your location. But if I try to enable it, it says mock locations not enabled. So how to enable it? First of all, go to settings and then scroll down, select developer options. Once you go inside developer options, you have to scroll all the way down and here you will see location category. And here you see the first option is about select mock location app. So you can select this option and from here you can select fake GPS or any other app that you are using. Now if I try to open this app and now if I try to enable my location here you can see mock location is now turned on and now you can use this app. The next setting is about animation scale. So if you want to decrease the animation speed and you want to use the phone more faster, you can enable this option. Go to settings and scroll down, select developer options. Once you go inside developer options, you have to scroll down and here you will see input category. So I will scroll down. So here is the input category. Now here you will see three different options. The first option is about windows animation scale. So you can select it and you can go for animation scale 0.5 X. Now here the second option is about transition animation scale. So you can open it and you can also select animation scale 0.5 X. And then the third option is about animator duration scale. So you can open it and you can select animation scale 0.5x. So after doing these settings, you will see a huge difference in speed and phone perform more faster with improved smoothness. So here you can see if I try to open different apps, you can see there is a huge difference in animation speed. 
so you can enable this setting for more smooth performance. The next setting is about show refresh rate. So if you want to see the refresh rate of current display, you can enable this option. So go to settings and scroll down, select developer options. Once you go inside developer options, you have to scroll down and here you see this debugging category. So inside debugging category, you have to scroll down again and here you see this option of show refresh rate so you can enable it from here now it will show you the refresh rate of current display so here you can see now it is showing 24 but if I perform any other function on my phone any other activity now it is showing 120 so you can see the refresh rate of current display you can also change the motion smoothness of your phone and then it will also show you the current refresh rate for for example, if I go to the display and then I will select motion smoothness and then I will change it from adaptive to standard. So as you know standard is 60 Hertz so now I will apply it and now here you can see it is showing you the 60 Hertz refresh rate. The next setting is about force dark mode. For example I enable dark mode on my phone and now I try to open this Amazon shopping app. So here you can see this app does not support dark mode. So how to enable dark mode for every app on this phone. First of all I will close this app and then I will go to settings. Once you go inside settings you have to scroll down select developer options. Once you go inside developer options you have to scroll down and you will see a category of hardware accelerated rendering. So here you can see hardware accelerated rendering. So here inside this category you will see this option of force dark mode. So you have to enable it from here. Now if I open this Amazon shopping app here you can see this time it support the dark mode. So this is how you can enable force dark mode for every app on this phone. The next setting is about sensors off. So if I bring down my quick panel here you see a new toggle of sensors off. So if I turn it on from here and now if I try to open the camera here you can see it says security policy prevents use of camera. So it will not allow me to use my camera. So how to enable this option. First of all go to settings scroll down select developer options once you go inside developer options you have to scroll down and here you see this option of quick settings developer tiles so you have to open it once you open it here you see this option of sensors off so you have to enable it from here once you enable it you will see this new toggle of sensors off and you can use it the next setting is about running services. For example, I open my recent app menu and here I will close all of these apps. But there are still some apps that are running in the background. So if you want to see those apps, you can use running services option. So go to settings and then scroll down and select developer options. Once you go inside developer options, you have to scroll down and here you see this option of running services. So you can select it from here and then it will show you all the apps that are running in the background. So here you can see we have different apps running in background. For example, I want to close this fake GPS app. I will select it from here and here you see this option of stop. So you can select stop option and then this app will close in the background. So here you can see no more fake GPS app is running in the background. One more thing I want to mention here is below this video you see this like button. If you press it like this it will change its color. You can try this experiment. The next setting is about stay awake while charging. So if you want to charge your phone and you want your phone to stay awake, you can use this option. Go to settings and then scroll down, select developer options. Once you go inside developer options, here you see this option of stay awake. You can enable this option and your screen will never sleep while charging. The next setting is about mobile data always active. So if you want fast switching from Wi-Fi 
to mobile data you can enable this option so go to settings scroll down select developer option and then inside developer options you have to scroll down and you will see networking category so here is the networking category so inside networking category you have to scroll down and you will see this option of mobile data always active so you can enable it from here so it always keep mobile data active even when wi-fi is active so this feature is suitable for fast network switching the next setting is about default usb configuration so when you connect your phone to pc it always asks you if you want to transfer files or you want to charge only but you can set it to a single default setting so go to settings scroll down select developer options once you go inside developer options you have to scroll down and you will see networking category so here is the networking category so inside this networking category you have to scroll down and here you see this option of default usb configuration so I will open default USB configuration and here you can select any single setting. So here you can go for transferring files, you can go for USB tethering, you can also go for charging phones only. The next setting is about show tabs. So if you want to see the visual feedback for tabs, you can enable this option. Go to settings, scroll down, select developer options. Once you go inside developer options, you have to scroll down and you will see input category. So here is the input category and you see the first option is about show tabs. So you can enable it from here. Now it will show visual feedback for your tab. So here you can see, you can see this visual feedback. So now if I open any app, it will show me these visual feedbacks. The next setting is about Wi-Fi safe mode. So if you want to prioritize Wi-Fi stability, over performance you can enable this option go to settings scroll down select developer options once you go inside developer options you have to scroll down and you will see networking category so here is the networking category and here you see this option of wi-fi safe mode you can enable it from here and then your phone will prioritize wi-fi stability over performance so guys if you want to turn off developer options go to settings scroll down select developer options you can turn it off from here so i will disable it from here now you can go back and here you can see after this about phone there is no more developer option so guys this is for today's video please subscribe to my channel thank you very much